Hello, today we are going to take care of replacing and upgrading battery on that Peli remote area lightning system. It is being designed from operated with a sealed lead acid battery that got absolutely horrible disadvantage in form of how heavy that device is. It is absolutely not something that you can easily carry around. It is a pretty heavy unit. But if we could upgrade it for lithium iron phosphate, then we are going to get significantly less weight and it should be extremely nice to handle. First, we are going to open our device and pull out the old battery we are going to start our process from disconnecting the lightning head and here we've got our connector and then we are going to be able to slide that element out and this is our led light head that element is free and we can take it out from our picture if you are going to follow that tutorial just to replace your battery for sealed lead acid, then make sure you are going to purchase the deep cycle battery. Here we've got four screws that need to be removed. And that is the bit that I'm going to be using. And we are nicely going to undo it. Now the bottom part is free. As you can see, it is made absolutely beautiful. You've got the internal frame that is holding battery in place. To remove it, we have to grab that styrofoam element. And here is our battery. So we are going to undo those screws. <laughs> Looks like the battery might bulge a little bit because it was extremely heavy to undo. It clearly should not be that heavy. Now we can remove that part and here is our lead acid battery and looks like it leaked because we've got that residue. So yeah, that's definitely broken. Let's try to remove it. It should just fall out. It was extremely high quality. I can see a CSB. This is a good quality battery. Very nice. I can see a fuse on that system. And in second, we are going to see that. But let's start from undoing it. I've got trouble undoing it by use of screwdriver. So let's help us with a different tool. And now it looks absolutely beautiful. We should get a corresponding screw on the new battery. Yeah, it's not going to work that way. Let's help us ourselves. And now our battery is free and we can take a look what kind of model did we get. And yes, it is a extremely high quality CSB battery. I can hear the caps are rattling inside, so it definitely vented. And this is a dead battery. But I just would like to show you how heavy it is. I'm holding it with both of my hands. And this is extremely hard to do. But this is replacement and I'm holding it like that without any problem. So let's take a look. This is our beautiful lithium iron phosphate. Just 
take a look how beautiful it is. It's rated up to 2000 cycles. It do not have any memory effect. It's not going to sulfate. And this is how lightweight it is. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. The old technology go away into recycle and that one go inside. I can tell you that the enclosure is not very heavy duty. It is made out of very flimsy plastic and most likely that's because there is nothing behind. Let's arrange our positive and negative. We've got very nice terminals. We are going to undo them. What is important for you to understand, we are not going to be using charger that was provided with the Pelly light. And that's because it requires a little bit different charging characteristic. And here is connector that we are going to be using to attach our charger. As you can see, we've got four poles. We've got uh, two sets of contacts. One of them is being used for recharging and it's going to have like a constantly power on those terminals. And the second one is being used by the lightning head and it's going to be switched on and off according to the settings on the light. We've got first problem with our drop in replacement. That connector <laughs> does not fitting our screw. So yeah, I think I'm going to drill out it a little bit because the current is extremely low. I will go with making it a little bit bigger and we are going to be using that step drill. We go like this and that should be enough. Does it going to be enough? Yes, this is 100% okay. Here we go with our positive. And our negative, we also need to drill it out. Just like that. I think it got in. The one step and we are good to go. As you can see, even that simple thing require us to do additional work. But okay, we are going to be mounting our frame that is providing a secure mount so it's not going to be rattling around i don't think it's going to be closing let's take a look do we have something that we can remove there is a foam let me remove it because we do not have enough room maybe we can stuff it somewhere here but let's take a look now looks like it's going to close so yeah it is not a one-to-one -one replacement it had a, like two millimeters of difference i will not throw that out because at some point in time we might go and revert back to the SLA battery and looks like we are good to go our element I believe it goes here it was profiled like that looks like we mounted everything correctly let's attach our light head 
We are going to go with the first socket. We go like this, we secure it. And let's try to turn it on. And as you can see, our light is working. So looks like we've got a good success. Let's do a weight check. And yeah, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I wanted to have it extremely nice and easy to carry around. And looks like, looks like we done it. Looks like we done it that way. Right now for evaluation, I'm going to be using it with my lab power supply. But as soon as it pass all my bench tests, then as a sneak peek, I can show you, we are going to be mounting that plug on a regular commercial off shelf lithium iron phosphor charger and we are going to be good to go so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye